so far we have learned how to how to draw esters but we haven't learned yet how to name esters so now we in this lecture we're going to learn how to name uh, different esters so i'm going to draw a random ester molecule let's say there's a there's an ester link over here and i'll complete all the bonds so there uh, there is uh, ch3 on this side and there is uh, there're going to be two hydrogens with this carbon atom and there're going to be three hydrogens with this carbon atom now i'm going to try and name this molecule now remember one thing uh, that naming esters is going to be slightly different from naming other organic compounds because esters are named uh, in two parts so what you do is that you divide the ester molecule into two sides uh, one side is uh, going to be on one side of the ester link and the other side the ester link is going to be divided into two parts so that will break the molecule into two parts now this side has one carbon atom and this side over here has a total of uh, one two and three carbon atoms so you have one side having one carbon atom and the other side having three carbon atoms now uh, we know that the name uh, of uh, a compound an organic compound that has one carbon atom is going to start with meth so i'm going to start the name with meth on the other hand uh, uh, the name of a compound having three carbon atoms is going to be uh, it's going to start with prop so this side is meth that side is prop now how would the name end what is the suffix going to be now in this particular case Rem remember this uh, thing that the side which has a single bond O uh, or we can say that is derived from the alcohol if you know how you constructed a nester. So the side that, ha that is attached to single bond O, that side is going to end with YL. The name is going to end with YL. So it's going to be methyl. And the side that has C double bond O or that is derived from a carboxylic acid, if you know how an ester is formed, this side would be the part that was derived from the carboxylic acid. So just remember simply that the C double bond O side, uh, it had three carbon atoms, so the name was prop. The name is going to end with noate. So it's going to become proper noate. And the final name of this molecule, the final name of this molecule is going to be, you're going to rearrange this, uh, the alkyl, the YL side, methyl side is going to be written first. So it's going to be methyl propanoate. And that's how you're going to name ester. So you're going to divide the ester. You're going to break this ester from the middle and divide the molecule into two parts when you're trying to name this. This side had one carbon atom. This side had three carbon atom. This side was meth. This side was prop. And the name of this side that ha that is attached to single bond O is going to be YL. It's going to be methyl. And the name of the side that is attached to C double bond O is going to be uh, it's going to end with O8. So so and the final name is going to be methyl propanoate. We will now try and name this ester. Uh, this is another example of naming esters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this ester. I'm going to break, uh, not literally break this ester. I'm going to divide this ester into two parts when I'm trying to name this ester. And on one side I have four carbon atoms. So this side has four carbon atoms. If you count, that's one, two, three, and four carbon atoms. So the name should start with but. So this side, the name is going to start with but. And on this side, the, uh, the number of carbon atoms are one and two. So the name is going to start with eth. Now, uh, this, uh, the second part to naming is that uh, this is the single bond O side. So, so this side, which is attached to the single oxygen over here, is going to end with YL. So it's going to be butyl. And the name of this side over here, which is um, which is uh, which which has the C double bond O in it, is going to end with O8. So it's going to become ethano8. And the final name of this molecule, the final name of this molecule is going to be butyl ethano8. I'm going to write butyl first and ethanoate second. So the name of this molecule is butyl ethanoate. Here's another example of an ester. We're going to try and name this ester. Uh, if you look at this molecule, it has an ester group. Uh, now I've drawn the molecule uh, the other way around now, just to confuse uh, you that uh, the questions might 
be um, coming in different directions. They would be drawing molecules in different positions. So, so it's still an ester group. It's serial bond O attached to an O. So it's an ester group. And I'm going to divide this ester into two parts. Uh, I'm going to divide the ester group. So the molecule would be named into two in two parts. Uh, one side has one carbon atom. So this side, the name is going to start with meth. And on this side, the name is going to start with eth because it has two carbon atoms. So it's going to be eth on one side and meth on the other side. And since this side has serial bond O in it, so the name is going to end with O8. And on the other side, since it is attached to single bond O, the name is going to end with YL. So the overall name of this molecule is going to be, it's going to be, you just, uh, you, you always write ethyl first. So, so it's going to be ethyl, methanoate let's do things slightly different now i have written down the name now i'm going to try and draw the ester so the name is methyl methanoate and i'm going to try and draw the ester so uh, i know it's an ester because the name is telling me that it's an ester all esters would be would have a yl and an o8 so methyl methanoate is an ester and esters have the ester function group in it so this is going to be there and remember we named esters in two parts so so methyl is the side that is attached to that single uh, oxygen single bond o so meth means there's going to be one carbon and if it is going to have one carbon a carbon atom so i'm going to attach uh, one carbon atom to this side the single bond o side and i'm going to complete all the bonds with hydrogen so that's methyl and methanoate is the other side. So there's one carbon already over there. If you divide the ester, well, there's one carbon already over there. So I just need to complete. There's already one carbon. Methanoate means there's going to be one carbon at the serial bond O side. So that's already there. So you just have to complete its bonds. There's going to be hydrogen. So this is methyl methanoate. I am now going to dry, try and draw the structure of butyl propanoate. Now, uh, butyl propanoate again, uh, an ester is named in two parts. So, propanoate means there are three carbon atoms on this side, and butyl means but means there are going to be four carbon atoms on the other side. So, so there's going to be an ester functional group. So, this is my ester functional group. Now, butyl or alkyl, this part with the one with YL has four carbon atoms, and it's going to be on the side where there's a single bond O. So, there are going to be four carbon atoms. So I've drawn my four carbon atoms towards the single bond O side. So this alkyl side is the is going to be the right hand side in this particular case. Propanoate would be uh, there would be three carbon atoms on the C double bond O side. So they're going to be three carbon atoms on this side. So this is going to be the backbone of the structure of this particular ester. I'm going to complete all the bonds by drawing all the hydrogen atoms. So this has three hydrogen atoms. This is going to have two, another two. So that is my butyl side and propanoate would be, there are going to be three hydrogens on this carbon atom and that completes all the bonds. So this is the structure of butyl propanoate.